Hello everyone, this is Ravi Kumar Naiti. I am working as a senior staff engineer at Qualcomm. In this video, I am going to cover the Qualcomm Innovators Development Kit. We are offering two types of solutions with this kit. NLP solutions and vision solutions. We will cover the HDK overview. HDK stands for Hardware Development Kit. HDK is the targeted hardware to run the solutions provided. Finally, we will also point to other resources to debug and enhance the solutions given in the kit. Qualcomm offers an extensive set of products to enable acceleration of artificial intelligence models. In this slide, you could see the list of all those products. Out of these, we are primarily using three products in the toolkit. Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI, Qualcomm A Model Efficiency Toolkit, which is also called as AMET, and the third one is AMET Model Zoo. This slide explains the process followed to develop a solution. First, we take the commercially available AI models and then we use the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI to compress and quantize these models to generate optimized models. These optimized models are then bundled into deployable solutions. Currently, the solutions are Android applications. This toolkit contains ready-to-run solutions as an application APK files and the source code for those solutions. The pre-trained models are optimized for edge inferencing and bundled into Android applications. This kit also provides resources to change models if the user chooses to in a particular solution. The target hardware to run these solutions is HDK, that is Hardware Development Kit. The solutions are divided into two categories, NLP solutions and Vision solutions. In NLP solutions, we have two solutions. One is on-device question answering and the other one is on-device sentiment analysis. Coming to vision solutions, we have three solutions in vision solutions. One is object detection from live camera feed. Second one is image super resolution, which is image upscale. And the third one is image enhancement, enhancing the contents of the image. First NLP solution is on-device question answering with transformers. In this solution, the application populates a set of context. Context is nothing but a paragraph with a title. User can ask questions that are related to the context. Output of the solution is the predicted answer for the given question. The model used in, in this solution is Electra Small 384, which is tuned for question answering. And the pipeline used in this application is shown on the screen. When this model is run on DSP, it is much faster than CPU. We could clearly see the runtime difference between CPU and DSP highlighted at the bottom of this slide. In this slide, we are showing the sample output of the application. In this application, the bottom of the screen contains the question and the top of the screen contains the context with the answer highlighted in the context. We are also showing the inference time and the hardware used to inference in the middle of the screen scene. There is another example for the second question in the same context. The second NLP solution is on-device sentiment analysis with transformers. In this solution, as and when user enters the input text in real time, the sentiment of the input text is calculated and it is shown on the screen. The model used for this solution is Mobile Bird SST2, which is tuned for sentiment analysis. The pipeline followed and the performance results are shown on the screen. Like the previous solution, even in this solution, we could see a great improvement in runtime when the model is run on CPU versus when the model is run on TSP. This slide shows the output of sentiment analysis. As and when user types the sentence, the sentiment is calculated. For example, when the user types a partial sentence, the positivity rate is really high. It's about 96%. When the user types some more text, the positivity is reducing somewhat and the negativity increased. Let's see what happens when the user completes the sentence. We could see a clear progression from a positivity rate of 96% to positivity of 0%.
First within solution is object detection with live camera. Here the application detects around 20 categories of objects. It uses Android camera to API to get the camera preview stream and uses mobile lit SSD V2 model for object detection. The pipeline is to get the camera preview frame and then do the pre-processing from YGB to RGB data. Pre-processed frame is given to the model. The model output is post-processed. Post-processing involves drawing bonding boxes on the frame and the results are updated on the screen. Second vision solution is image super resolution. This solution demonstrates how users can upscale an image to a higher higher resolution image without much accuracy loss and quality loss. Here the model we used is super efficient super resolution and this model is taken from Qualcomm AMET model Ju and the model input is 128 cross 128 pixel image. Model upscales twice in both the directions width and height and the model output is 256 cross 256 pixel image. Third within solution is image enhancement. In this solution, the sample applications enhances the input image. There is no change in input resolution when we enhance the image. The model used for this solution is Enlighten GAN and this model is specialized for low light enhancement. All the solutions in the current AI toolkit are to be run on Snapdragon HDK 8550, which is the hardware development kit 8550. This kit primarily contains three parts. One is the main board, that's the brains of the board. And then there is a sensor card. The sensor card should be attached to the main board. And uh, the sensor card supports attachment of display and the camera sensors. And there is also a display card to get a similar feel of a mobile phone. Here are the resources shared in a toolkit. The first resource is we shared a setup video to set up Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for A. This video should help beginners to set up the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for A and experiment with it. We are also sharing the unboxing videos and overview videos of HDK hardware on how to set up the hardware. And then we have the videos for each and every solution explaining the solution we are delivering and how to change the models and in each solution. There are also other resources available in Qualcomm Developer Network. They are Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for A, which is a very good resource. And then A Model Efficiency Toolkit and A Model Efficiency Toolkit Model Ju, where Qualcomm maintains the optimized models for Snapdragon hardware. Thanks for watching this video. For more resources and support, do visit Qualcomm Developer Network and have a great day.